what does it mean to you to be a, thou, be a part of the, the first program to hit 1,000 career wins? Yeah, being a part of a program that has 1,000 wins is just amazing. And obviously doing it here, you know, coaching at my alma mater at Michigan is just huge, you know. Um, they always say we're the winningest program, you know, in college football history, and then it just shows the first team to 1,000, which is just, you know, it's an incre incredible honor for everyone that's been a part of it. Um, what does it mean to be a part of, of this brotherhood, this club, whatever you want to call it, because it is, is a special thing, obviously. Yeah, you know, I think those of us that played at Michigan, you know, it was, a, it was an important time in our lives, and, and those are moments you never forget. You know, you met your best friends here. You know, you, met, you know, a lot of us met our wives at Michigan. Um, so just playing in this program and, and being able to share this honor with, you know, the thousands and thousands of players that have been a part of it is huge. How often do you find yourself thinking about the legacy, the tradition, everything that this place represents? And I think every day when you walk into the facility, you know, when you, when you walk up and you see the first team All-Americans, when you see the Heisman trophies, when you see the ball wall, and you see all the wins that we have had in the history, um, you just know it's special. You know, and I just appreciate every time coming into this building and knowing the legacy and the history of players that have been before me. You were part of a lot of wins, uh, I'm sure a lot of special wins. Is there one you can single out that's just got a little something different for you? No, I, you know, I think my freshman year, you know, when we came back in that triple overtime game against Michigan State, um, that was huge. We were down by 17 with about six, seven minutes left. Uh, I always remember that one. And then um, I think my sophomore year, we were playing Penn State, and uh, they were like top five in the country. And um, we scored on the last play of the game to win the game. Um, those are just two, you know, home games that were just huge that, that I really remember. And you still see them on TV all the time. Mike, you became one of these guys with your performance here. I'm talking about the legends of Michigan. When you have met previous Michigan legends, can you share what, what those experiences are like, what that means to you when you meet the guys who laid the foundation years before? Not just the, even things just growing up watching the guys that played here, especially when you talk about the running backs with, with Wheatley and Bianca Batuka and then Chris Perry before me and Jamie Morris, just the great backs that have been in, you know, in this program. And then just overall, the, the players, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, like I said, when you look on that wall and you see all those first team All-Americans that we had and, um, you know, meeting them is just an honor. You know, you share that connection, that bond um, that, you know, you're, you hopefully that you were one of the best Michigan players of all time. And hopefully those guys are proud of you when you play. And it never goes away, does it? Never goes away. <laughs>